Hi everyone, my name is Victoria Goff. I am a campus and downtown blogger for the Daily Collegian and today I'm going to be reviewing the new Slim Chickens location in the Hub Robeson Center. So what I have today is I got a three piece chicken strips meal. I also got a side of coleslaw and some fries. And then for my sauces, I got the Slim sauce and the spicy barbecue sauce. So. Um, what I've seen online is that uh, Slim Chickens is kind of known for their sauces. Unfortunately, at the Hub, they only have five to choose from. I was also looking forward to trying some of the milkshakes that they have there, but it looks like they have a limited menu for now. Um, and I think that's just kind of similar to what they had at Chick-fil-A, but I'm hoping that in the future, Slim Chickens might expand to more things. So let's dig in. So just trying chicken strip without any of the sauces on it. I think it has a really good flavor. I don't think that it's, um, you know, it's really lightly seasoned. I can see some sort of, you know, pepper on it. it tastes like there's salt on it, which I really like because then it can go with any of the sauces. Um, it's not overbearing, but again, it's not bland, you know, and I think that the, the breading is a, a perfect amount of crispy. You know, I don't like my chicken strips to be too crunchy. So I'm going to be trying the Slim Sauce first. I'm going to be trying it with one of these chicken strips. Okay, so the chicken, so I tried Big Dean's Hot Chicken last semester when it just opened, and it was very greasy. It left fingerprints all over the table when I was eating it. And even though it was very good, I felt like it was just a little too greasy for my tastes. And this, I think, is like the perfect level of that. You know, it's not dry, and I hate to use the word moist, but I think it has, you know, a good texture. It's fried properly. It's absolutely delicious. It's seasoned well, and I really like this sauce. Um, this is the Slim Sauce. It's kind of a, a creamy flavor. Um, I really like it, so I'll be trying the barbecue sauce next. So next here I have the spicy barbecue sauce, and I am actually very excited for this one because I am A, a huge fan of barbecue sauce, and B, I like spicy food. So I hope that this is spicy enough for my palate. It tastes um, like your, your standard barbecue sauce, but it does have a little kick at the end to it, which I really like. I feel like it adds another dimension to it. I really like how creative Slim Chickens is with their sauces, and um, I can't wait to try the other ones. I know that they have a ranch as well, and they have a honey mustard too, and I am a big honey mustard fan. So next, I will be trying the fries. So I'll be trying these plain, and then with each of the sauces. So first impressions are, these aren't, like the perfect texture, I think. I tend to like my fries kind of on the softer side. I feel like a lot of places tend to make their fries very crispy. I think these are, you know, they're a good texture and I think that they have like the right amount of salt on them as well. Very good, 10 out of 10 fries. And better than anything in the dining hall. <laughs> So last but not least, I am trying the coleslaw. I tend to be very picky with my coleslaw, so, but it looks very good right now. So we will see how this goes. Okay, so first impression of the coleslaw, it is a little mayonnaise heavy for my tastes. I kind of like my coleslaw to be a little bit on the drier side, this is rather soupy, but I do think that the flavor is good. Um, a lot of coleslaws tend to overdo it on the pepper, and I think that this has a good seasoning where the, you know, just the, the real coleslaw flavors come through and it's not um, too pepper forward. So my final thoughts on the Slim Chicken meal are that I personally loved it. I will be having it again, and I can't wait to try the chicken sandwich and the other sauces that they have to offer. Um, I really hope that they expand their menu in the future to offer more things that they offer at their usual full locations. Um, I think that the line was well worth the wait, and it was a pretty long wait, and uh, I encourage everyone to go out and try it.